Welcome back to Elden Ring. I want to go explore that thing up on the hill. I think I probably have to go all the way back here to get up there, maybe? I think this is quite steep. We'll see. But um, also, when I spawned in, we have somebody new here. Someone on a horse. Oh, they spotted me. Oh, you have a flail, too. Yours looks bigger. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, it's a boss. Knight's Cavalry. Yeah, I think I'm going to be magicking them. Whoa, that jump. Oh, it's so cool, you can see it when I'm heavy attacking, you can see it hit the ground. Look at that again, the sparks. It's just so cool. Uh, let's do arc. Because they move around so... So much, it's a little bit hard to hit them.
got him! Oh, that was satisfying. Ashervor Barricade Shield and Knight Rider Flail. Yes, we got another flail! Barricade Shield. So that's a shield, Ashervor. I think the first one for shields we've gotten. Are the messages all about? Yeah, the knight. Behold, knight. Try knight, and then be wary of cavalier. Oh, that's a good one. That even tells you, like, hints that you should... Um, that they only appear at nighttime. And I can level up now. I think I need a 21 intelligence to use a new spell. So, another point in that. Ah, yes. Um, I'd have to replace one of these. Well, I think it would have to be Pebble, right? Because Arc basically is as good as Pebble, but better. I mean, like, functionally, I think it goes about as far as Pebble does, but it can hit multiple enemies at once or have a better chance of hitting one because of its wide arc. It does cost three more FP, but from seven to 10 FP, that's not a huge increase. By the way, what do I actually need to get more memory slots? I just Googled it real quick because I thought I was just missing it. Which stat um, give you more slots for spells, but no, actually you need like special stones that you'll get through the course of play. So it's actually not from stats, it's from an item. Interesting, because I don't, Although I didn't play magic much in the Dark Souls games, I don't think it's ever worked like that. I think it's always been as a result of your stats, not an item that gives you more slots. Anyway, pebble gone. And we could put in a new one here. Oh, the poison armament. I thought that was an Ash of War, but it's an incantation. But yeah, we got Rock Blaster, and it does require 21 faith, like I thought. We got that from the weird cave we were trapped teleported to, I think. Thrust staff into ground to emit a massive shockwave. Is that where we got that spell? I think so. Anyway, FP cost is 30, so it's quite expensive. I don't know what the FP cost in brackets is. Like for this, Glintstone Arc, it has nothing in brackets. 10 and then nothing in brackets. This has 30 and then 5 in brackets. What does that mean? Don't know, but anyway. Let's also take a look at the Ashes of War. So now we can do the shield. Not that I'm ever going to do that. Or actually, wait, no. I don't have to dual hand the shield to be able to use it special. Because it's special right now is parry and I can use that. So this would change it into barricade shield. What does that actually do? Um, I can't view any, like, description of it. I guess I could probably do that through the inventory. Barricade shield, skill made famous by Sir Neidhart. Focus your energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Usable on all shields. I think I'll stick with parry. Let's take a look at that new flail. It, uh... Oh, I'm so happy to see this! I was worried that it would be a strength thing because it seems so large, but it's actually also a dex weapon. Yeah, it needs a lot more dex. 24 and I have 18, so I need 6 more dex, but... But yeah, the strength requirement is the same. Oh, I want to use this! Yes, I want to use it. Hell yes! I'm going to work up to that. Flail with two additional bludgeoning heads. Yeah, it's a flail with more flail. Weapon of the Knight's Cavalry who ride funeral steeds. Oh, that was a funeral steed. That's why it was covered in black. Oh, that's cool. The large spikes make it highly effective at inducing blood loss, but also demand higher dexterity to wield. Oh, hold on. About the spinning chain thing. It says follow up with a normal or strong attack to link the momentum of the skill into a successive attack. Oh, I never tried that. I do want to work up to that. Do I want to work up to that at the expense of everything else? Maybe not. 
I should probably do some other stuff like health and more FP and whatnot. Because so far I've pretty much been focusing on all decks until I could use the current flail. And then after that I focused on all int until I could use the spell. So yeah, I think I should spend some other points in general stuff. But the successive attack thing, how does that work? Wait, what? Oh, right. I changed this into a magic flail. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is not what I... That's not what I thought that did. I thought that was going to shoot it out like the enemy that I attacked to get it. I thought it was going to be a thing you... Yeah, kind of like an arc. Like the glintstone arc. Uh, it seems to just be a straight up AoE. Um, I want to test the magic flail. Like, is it actually, does it actually do good damage? Because I might just switch it right back to normal right now. Let's go try it on some enemies. Short attack. 75. Same attack with a non-magic flail. 82. Now, of course, different enemies have different resistances, but... But I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with a normal flail. Let's test out the successive attack thing. Oh, that's cool. So that's a quick attack. Following up with a quick attack. Let's follow it up with a strong. Oh. This has now become Fashion Souls and Flail Souls. I'm all flail all the way right now. <laughs> I, like, worked towards this flail, I'm super happy with it, and now I see another flail to work towards, and I'm just, oh, I just want all the flails. How many flails are in the game? Anyway, um, right. I started the episode wanting to go up here, and it looks like there is a vortex that'll just take us right up. Oh yeah, something I meant to mention, by the way. My wife gave me the tip to try this out when I just fell in the water, like with the very first spirit thing that I used. Um, it turns out the direction you're facing changes which direction you go. Yeah. Even though I'm not pressing forwards, so you don't actually have to press forwards, that's the confusing bit. Like, I thought it was forcing me to go out over the water because of the fact that I didn't press forwards, but it pushed me out there anyway. But actually, no, it just pushes you forwards, even if you don't press anything, in the direction that you're facing. So, that's why I just went back out that way, because I was facing the way, and it pushed me forwards. But if I face this way, press jump and press nothing else, this is where I go, pressing absolutely nothing. So it always presses you forwards the way you're facing when you jump. Shoutouts to my wife. I love her. Oh, can I get up there? Is there something up there at all? There is an item up there. Oh, hold on. Is there even another way in or is this? What the heck? What's going on down there? That's just at the opening. Oh, it's kind of through the opening and then kind of to the side. That was probably there before. I was thinking maybe that was a creature that only appears at night, but it was probably there before. It would be easier if I just did this from the spirit well, I think. Or not spirit well. I always forget these things' names. Yeah. Great turtle shell. It's a shield. Dog. Dog? Yeah, whatever. Upvoted for dog. Warming stone. 
Oh, that is so satisfying. You don't even have to roll. Oh, Torrent, you are a force to be reckoned with. Beautiful. Alright, Warming Stone. Uses FP to continuously heal nearby allies. Huh. And the other thing was a shield. Let's see how it compares to what I have right now. Ooh, 100% physical damage negation. Significantly better guard boost, which means less stamina used when you're hit while having the shield up. It requires 14 strength, though. That's four more strength than I have. Do I want to put that much into strength? Probably not. Oh, I do want to see what it looks like, though. <laughs> that is such a cool shield. Like, look at that. That is just so cool. So this is the thing we saw on the map. Try center attacking. I did think this looked a little suspicious. expect that message to be a lie. As so many upvotes and I don't know, something about to seem genuine. What's the other one say? No, they both say that. Am I just missing something? Or are they really just fucking with me? I think they're just fucking with me. I did want to try the other spell out, though. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, it's this! Oh, if I hold it down, it... It uses up all your FP, doesn't it? Let me do that again. Yeah. Oh, it goes through it really fast. So you can really just jam it into someone, and then it finishes off with that... Uh, put it into the ground move. If I just tap it, what does it do? Does it just do the ground? Yeah, it'll do just a ground attack if you tap it. So it's kind of multifunctional. Oh, I want to use that on something. Oh, hey. It's a werewolfy. A woo. A woo. Seek three wise beasts. To get in, I guess. Oridice's rise. Three wise. Whoa. Is that one of the wise beasts? Don't tell me I have to kill them. Like, how else do I do anything with the beast? I think I gotta kill them. Mist. Dog. I'm sorry, I think I need to kill you. Ah. Uh, I hate that.
I'm sorry, pupper. There's a side of grace over here. What is going on there? There's kind of a little building, a little bit of green here on the map as well. Okay, there's a lot of magic and also weird holes, glowing holes in the ground. Anyway, let's not get distracted. I'm going to rest here to get my FP back because I used a whole bunch testing out the spells. I need to like read this or if I need to like kill the turtle again seek three wise beasts the turtle was very close so I'm guessing the others are close as well oh one is probably in the water now or it wasn't before Yes, I just saw a ripple. Okay, they weren't lying. Oh, are they all turtles? Oh, where's the third turt? Okay, I'm gonna upvote these. I'm glad that they weren't lying. Because I feel like I have a pretty good sense of what people are lying about and what they're not, and that felt like it wasn't a lie, so I was a bit disappointed. There it is. Oh, you're so much closer than I thought you'd be. The seal on the rise is opened. Hehehe. <laughs> That's so satisfying. thing that gives you more spell slots oh heck yeah oops it's under key items increases memory slots a black lightly beguiling stone prized by the sorcerers who produce them increases memory slots said to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the eternal city 
Okay, I don't actually know how to use it, though. I think I need to speak with the sorcerer. Oh no, just by owning the memory stone, it just works. So I already have another slot. Well, let's put this back to how it was before then. Pebble, Arc, and Rock Blaster. Was that somebody screaming? It's probably just a animal. Yeah. All right, let's check out this weird, magic-y, cursed kind of looking place. I thought they were casting that weird ball, but it didn't go away. Whoop! Oh, that's such a cool effect. Oh, whoa! You're really cool. I want to get a better look at you. Oh, this is like arcane or something. This is like that purple magic. Is that what arcane is? I don't know. Yeah, magic's really good against him. Gravity stone fan, yeah, I got one of those throwables before. Try horseback battle. Good idea. Ah. Can I parry the stone? <laughs> that didn't work very well. <laughs> I want to bounce it back at him like... Freaking, I don't know, an arcade game. What was I gonna try? Oh, right, I was gonna do this. Got him. It would have been cheaper just to use magic. It's fun, though. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that pulled, pulled me into them. Kind of want to try Rock Blaster. You know, suddenly I don't want to try Rock Blaster. That enemy's not gonna come back. Underground tomb ahead. Oh? Thank you for the tip. Yeah, these are interesting to me. What are they? These holes. Bottoms of them look like they're smoldering. Like the magical energy just superheated them or something? Ah, hole. Any holes a goal? Valley. <laughs> sure. It could be whatever you want it to be. 
One man's hole is another man's valley. So, is there actually a tomb ahead? Time for cemetery. Do they drop unique things? Great dragonfly head. No, just the same as the other colored dragonflies. They are they are gonna try to attack me, yeah. There is a tomb. <laughs> Mushroom ahead. Thank you. That's very true. I love all these helpful messages. Impaler's Catacombs. Ah. flower. Wait. I think they actually made a mistake here. I think that's meant to say a purple flower that blooms in graveyards, but it says a purple flower than blooms in graveyards. The hue of ghost flame, it's believed to be useful in calling forth spirits. Speaking of, what can I make now? Temporarily boosts fire damage negation. I can make a one of that. Mm, I can make quite a bit of fire grease. A lot, actually. Ten. So yeah, if I need to burn things, I have the resources to do it. Be wary of a liar. Somebody telling you to jump. Up. Locked by some contraption. Be wary of up. I think we need a message for this little friend. Don't give up, skeleton. Uh, 
Yes. I even put on the strength emote. <laughs> oh, I just find that so cute. I thought there'd be more than just one. Oh, these glove warts are for strengthening ashes. Whatever that means. I think I saw on a tip screen somewhere that you can strengthen the power of the, like, people you summon or something like that. That, that might be what that's for. You don't have the right. You don't have the right. In short, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. What? Uh, that must be some reference I'm totally missing. Seek down. Oh. I see. Oh, my message was appraised. Oh, I see. Spiky. There's something purple up there. I think it's a flower. Someone managed to go up there and leave a message. That's oh, water down there. Oh, that doesn't even go up enough to smash you into the spikes. <laughs> There's tons of skeletons just stuck up there. Don't give up. I see. It's quite generous that it's not an insta kill. Oh. Could this be a Elden Ring? It is circular, maybe. so much damage. Oh, they're coming back to life. Or are they? Or is that just more coming up? Oh. Oh no. Oh. oh. God, they're eating me. They give me, like, 36 souls. They really are just coming back, aren't they? Is 
they are. Could you technically farm them forever? And just keep getting 36 souls? I don't know. Let's keep fighting them. Okay, no, this is not going to stop. <laughs> Prattling Pate, please help? Wait, what is that? Is that like those wooden mask thingies that you could throw in Dark Souls 2 that would say things to other players in, in multiplayer? Oh my god. And they're all undying. They're just invulnerable. Somewhere a heavy door is opened. Probably the one at the beginning of the dungeon. Be wary of left. Still got hit. I didn't expect them to come out until I actually win around the corner. Oh, and now we're back here. And now it's open. Fog wall. Be wary of pack. Group ahead. Be wary of group and then dog. I wish there was a stake of Marika or something here. Hmm? Something chasing me. Let's just go for it. Oh, this thing! This is the thing I was thinking of was in the other dungeon. This is the weird cat statue thing. It says watchdog, but that's no dog. Is that all the ads? No, one more. No, not that! Anything but that! I forgot, I have three, I have three spells now. <laughs> the problem here is I'm not gonna have enough FP. Actually, I might just have enough FP. Slowly restoring FP over time. And I did it! Demi-human ashes. 
and it's continuing to restore FP. So that's a pretty long buff. Yeah. Still restoring FP? Demi human ashes. Oh, it's another type of summon. Right, we have to summon three lone wolf spirits, which we started with. And now we can summon five demi human spirits. If we need help. Let's level up. I'm not going to do dex. I want to do dex, but I'm not going to do dex. Let's... I mean, more health is always good. More mind would give me more FP. That would be good. Let's get more mind. Or maybe just... Nah, let's get more vigor. One final thing for this episode. Let's check out this creature off to the side that we saw from up above. There you are. I want to try Rock Blaster. Terribly effective. I mean, I used up my entire FP bar. Like, how much damage would I have done if I just did this? Oh, way more! <laughs> I probably could have killed them with my whole FP bar. Hmm. Not so sure about that rock blaster thing. Smithing stone. Is that what you were digging at? You know, I didn't even think of the fact that I can probably upgrade my weapon, maybe... Maybe quite a few times, actually. I've completely forgot about upgrading my weapon. Let's go back to the Church of Ella. Wow, I... Have I even upgraded my flail at all? I upgraded the sword, but... Yeah, no, I... I didn't at all. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I come back, we're going to check out... I think I'm still going to leave this for the final exploration of this island, so I'm going to check out... Maybe let's start with this village. <laughs>